So this is how the trunk is looking. <laughs> Look how clean it came out. It What's up guys and welcome back to another video if you guys haven't hit the subscribe button hit the subscribe button right now But we're making a video on the m340 and this time we are installing the CF hood carbon fiber hood I'm gonna show you guys in a little bit how it looks m340 is looking a little dusty just for the reason I haven't driven it like in two weeks just been sitting here I actually been on vacation but we're back to the grind and make we're about to make some dope videos let's get a little cold start on the m340 it's dusty as hey and for the people that are new to the channel i do have a veltronic design exhaust but i don't have the startup roar on mhd i have it off so it's not gonna sound too loud I do gotta change my brake pads, but I do have new pads, I just haven't installed them. I love this steering wheel so much. Just changes the look of the interior, but in here, to me, it feels like a freaking like a plane. It's, you get so cozy, so, so spacious, so technology. It's up to date. We're just gonna back it up a little bit so we can have some space and install the hood. But I'm super excited for this mod though. If you guys know, pull this twice and we'll be good. <laughs> Look how dirty this is. Oh my God, is that a wasp? Bro, that very thing, I think, babe. So hopefully this is pretty easy. I think it's just these bolts right here. And that one, and this whole thing just comes off. But look how beautiful the CF hood is. I messed up on the ceramic coat. <laughs> I put too much, and literally it just looked like full smeared. So what I did was how to repolish it. It looks nice, to be honest. Oh, I love it so much. I just need a BMW logo, and then we'll be good. So now the hardest part is gonna put this, the CF hood in there all by myself. I mean, I think I can do it, but the biggest pain might be putting the bottom ones. Might have to screw the bottom ones first. And then, honestly, I thought I broke this at first, but put the bottom ones first. And then from there, we'll see how it looks. Hold to see how it works actually.
Yo, I tried my hardest to do it by myself, but I just tightened the bottom ones. I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but I also did the top ones. Yeah, it's coming out so good. Let's see. I just I gotta line it up and do everything, but <laughs> it's sticking out of the bottom ones. Look at that. Hopefully we can get this right though. So guys, this is the next day. I actually ended up, I think the last clip you guys seen was me putting it on the hood. It's already on. I went for a drive yesterday. This is actually the next day. And let me tell you, it looks super nice, but I ended up doing something without recording because I knew it was gonna be such a pain in the ass doing this, installing this part. And guess what I did? I actually installed my my trunk. And let me explain, let me tell you guys, it looks nice. I love the end result, but that was a pain in the ass just to install. But we are going to disclose the location so I can show you guys the trunk and I'm super happy with the results. It just, it was just a pain. It took me like probably like three hours because the trunk, because the trunk itself has like hella wires. This car sounds super nice. Yo, I love this car so much. No, it's a red light, bro. It's a red light. <laughs> the guy was trying to let me go too, but this whole time it was a red light, so I obviously I couldn't go. I'm sunny. Yo, I feel like this car has so many miles now. I did a TikTok for it and people are saying <laughs> that these are baby miles, 39,000. I mean, it's a 2020, yes, I get it. It's like probably like a four year old car. But to me, I feel like I'm putting hella miles on it. But I could just be being dumb. This car is just super fun to drive. I mean, I'm modifying modifying it to my liking, thankfully, and I just feel blessed. I do want to get some runs in because I, with this custom setup, the setup I have now, because I do plan on getting a P850 in the future. It's 
super warm outside now. I do not like the the heatness in California. It's a whole different breed. I don't like it at all. This is how the trunk is looking. <laughs> Look how clean it came out. It actually, like I said, I'm super happy with the results. I just need to buy a badge. I might just keep it like that. And I just think it looks super cool. But uh, I'm in love with this rear. It just looks super nice. What was the hardest part about it? <laughs> so let me show you guys. It still opens. So this is how it looks. I still need to just tape everything. Cause these are supposed to have holes, but I am not gonna do that. I left a mess on here cause I need to drill this little thing for the hatch. And I think the hardest part was lining up the tail lights because at first I tried to do it with the hood. Well, I mean with the trunk not installed and I couldn't install these properly. But once the, uh, the trunk was on the car, it was so much easier so yeah and then these wires are pretty easy just to take off the only con i think about the trunk is oh yeah and also these don't sit properly obviously and i ripped it right there <laughs> but the camera still works this light still works the tail lights still work hardest thing is shutting it because you guys know the other one so it doesn't shut off all the way this is a secret to it I go like this and then it will close <laughs> so there's a hack to it i don't know if there's a better solution to it but i just don't know i just i'm just keep it like this and then the hood obviously you guys see the hood it looks super nice look at that baby i love it super clean and the m340 is coming out nice what's next to this i do have a diffuser i'm gonna install later i do have another front lip we got to give this baby a wash and everything will come out clean. I'm just super in love with this rear, to be honest. I try my best to line up the fitment on the tail light. And with the license plate, <laughs> I just put double-sided tape so it can be this side and probably needs tape. This side's fine. Also, depending how the tips look with the diffuser on, I might change them or else I'm gonna just keep them. I do have other ones, they're like carbon fiber, but I just gotta install the diffuser first and then we'll see how it looks. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and this was such a pain in the ass and see you guys on the next video.